Now yesterday I was told about a poor little gerbil who was playing with this toy and got a nasty injury, a nasty cut to his side. Now this is the Rosewood Boredom Breaker Carrot Dreamcatcher. Now this is really very shocking news because Rosewood is a big company. They make lots of toys and lots of them are very good toys. But this obviously is a, has a problem. Now about seven years ago I had one of these toys. At the time these strings were long and they were very fine string and I was very concerned that the rats would get their feet caught in them so I cut the carrots off and I used the carrot and the loofah separately. Now this poor little gerbil he has got himself inside here and this has obviously had some very rough edges. He's tried to bite his way out and there's some pictures that his mum has shared with me which are on my Fizzy Star Rats Facebook page. There's a post there, you can go along, you can have a look at the pictures and please share the post with anyone you know that has a small animal. Now the lady took apart this toy afterwards and she found some very sharp edges in here, some very thick sellotape which in fact broke the skin on the back of her hand. So this is not a safe toy and I'm going to strongly advise that if you have this toy you remove it from your cage and you get rid of it, that you don't buy this toy at all and you don't buy this similar toy from any other company. Now I don't know what's happening to, with the loofah toys because I used to have the loofah rings and they didn't used to have sharp edges years ago and when I was packing up after Rob died I noticed that the most recent loofahs, the ones that I hadn't put in the cage, they were not by Rosewood, they were another uh, major pet shop, it, they might have been pets at home but I noticed that they had very sharp edges and I actually binned them and I was so pleased that I hadn't put them in the cage. So what I'm going to tell you all now is I'm going to strongly suggest that you do not ever use these loofah rings. If you have got them and you want to use them, check them so carefully for edges, but sharp edges inside and around the outside. But I would really strongly suggest these are not safe toys and the best thing you can do is not buy them. If you have bought them and you're worried, return them to the store and get your money back and tell them that they're dangerous. But if your poor animal, whether it's anything from a mouse, a hamster, a gerbil, a rat, they could sustain a nasty injury. Even a fully grown rat could stick their nose through here and get a nasty scratch or cut. So please be very cautious. Um, if your animal ever gets injured with any toy at all, first of all, care for your animal especially if they've got heavy bleeding, they've got injuries to their eyes, their nose, their mouth, the tails, their hands, then you need to contact a vet straight away. If they've ingested something that they shouldn't have had, um, then obviously you also need to contact your vet straight away and for heavy bleeding. So that is your first thing that you should always do if your animal is injured, is to care for your animal first of all. Once your animal is safe, then you take photos of the injury, photos of the toy, and then you share them. You share them with everyone you can. You, people like myself will always share them page, on their page, on their channel. Contact every person in any animal group that you may belong to, anyone who runs one of the animal groups, and I'm sure they will be very keen to share the information to prevent further accidents. And this is the only way you can stop other accidents from happening is to tell people what's happened. Don't feel guilty. If you've bought a toy in good faith and you, you, was, you know, were assured it was safe for your animals, you couldn't find anything wrong with it and then something happens, then clearly that toy was not safe. Even if it appeared to be safe at the time, it was not safe if it has broken or caused an accident. So the next thing to do um, is to actually contact the people you bought the toy from and send them photos. Also contact the people who produced the toy and it doesn't have to be a toy, it could be bedding, it could be a house, anything that has been sold as safe for small animals, you need to report. I would email first of all because then you have proof that you've contacted them and then if you don't hear anything back, follow that with a phone call. In the UK, 
Um, we have people such as Citizens Advice and Trading Standards who can also help you. And this is really important for a serious injury that the people who produce the toy or the product, they need to be told. So thankfully the poor little gerbil is improving today. His mum's had a nasty shock. It's always really, really horrible to see your animal injured and in pain. And especially if that animal, you haven't had it very often, it's a nervous animal, it's hard to reassure them. You, if you can't pick them up and give them a cuddle, that's really worrying. So just be very, very careful with any toy that you do buy, even if the company claims it's safe. If you ever have any doubt about any toy, then please don't use it.